Welcome to Evening Prayers for Monday the 31st of August. We're thinking about God's Word. Let's be still. Lord, take my life, my small life, and illumine it, that everything I say and do may reflect the light of your glory. Lord, take my life, my small life, and imprint it, that everything I say and do may reveal the image of your love. Lord, take my life, my small life, and inspire it, that everything I say and do may resonate with the power of your Spirit. Lord, take my life, my small life, and indwell it, that everything I say and do may radiate your life, your glorious life. I will bless the Lord at all times, on my lips, the sound of his praise. Give glory, my soul, to the Lord, all the humble hear and rejoice. Come, let us worship the Lord, with one voice give glory to God. I cried to the Lord, he replied, he freed me when I was afraid. With God is the fullness of joys, turn to him, he will not be deceived. Lord, we turn to you as we listen for your word and offer our prayers in this evening hour. Amen. Reading from Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 12, part of the account of the call of Moses. Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, I have never been eloquent neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, Who gave man his mouth? Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or makes him blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. Moses felt completely unworthy of his call from God to go to Pharaoh and ask for the release of the people of Israel. I'm slow of speech and tongue, I don't know what to say, Lord. And God says to him, say what I tell you to say, I will give you the words. Listen for me, I promise that I will speak to you and through you for the good of all. And the same is true for us when we feel unworthy, when we don't have the words to say. Presence is all. Listening for God, knowing his presence, saying what he would say, not what we would rather, that the good of all may be found. And God promises that he will be with us always and teaches his ways and his words. So may we be attentive to God and stand on the promise that he gives to us, that he will always be there. I will stand on every promise of his word. From the breaking of the dawn to the setting of the sun, I will stand I am singing. 
confidence to stand on every promise of your word, to listen for your voice and repeat your word of hope and life, love and justice where you send us. Let us pray. Jesus, Son of God, you ask that your church receive the Spirit to strengthen it in faith. Make us attentive to your word. Jesus, Son of God, you guide your church at all times by that same Spirit. Make us attentive to your word. Jesus, risen from the dead, you open for us a road towards you and towards others, even when all ways seem closed. Make us attentive to your word. Jesus, our brother, you are with all who suffer. Comfort them by your word. And we pause to bring to God those on our hearts and minds today. Jesus, our brother, you call us in your name to tend to those who need your consolation. Make us attentive to your presence. We pray for those who need to know the blessing of God's presence today. Spirit of the living God, you renew your church by offering us a springtime of reconciliation. Guide us by your word. We pray for those situations where we know reconciliation is needed because of harsh words spoken or difficult deeds done which we long to undo. Spirit of the living God, you cause your fruit to ripen in our hearts. Make us attentive to your word. So, Lord, in this evening hour, as we pause before you in prayer, we thank you for every promise of your word. Assure us in these moments that you are with us, for you have promised you will never let us go. So hear our prayers in the name of Jesus, who taught us when we pray to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. 
where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy, and all for your mercy's sake. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you, with those for whom we have prayed, and with all God's people, this evening time and forevermore. Amen.